सवाल खेरे स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज अरवा एंड माय चैनल नेम इज अरवा एंड फिजिक्स सो वी आर इन अ सीरीज ऑफ एरर्स एंड मेजरमेंट एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन पार्ट वन अबाउट एब्सल्यूट एरर मीन एरर इन दिस पार्ट आई वांट टू कवर वन मोर थिंग व्हिच आई फॉरगॉट इन माय पार्ट वन एंड दैट इज रिलेटिव एरर और फ्रैक्शन एरर Uh, in my part one, as I told you, we will discuss mean absolute error, which we discussed in part one. But I forgot one more terminology that is relative and fractional error. Suppose this is your values. This this answer will give you values, and I discuss this till part one. So what is relative error? Relative error means suppose someone wants your error to be in terms of percentage. If you want percentage, if your errors, you want your errors to be in terms of percentage, then remember what you have to do, and that is denoted by delta, sorry, delta of a, and that percentage error, percentage, this will give you percentage error, and that is delta of a mean divided by true value means how this is your true value, and how. it varies how your delta a mean varies from your true value into 100 this is how we generally calculate our percentage also our report card percentage of various subjects okay so this uh, relative errors uh, in terms give you percentage just take a very quick we will take one example so that you will understand okay refractive let's see refractive index of what so one student measure the refractive index refractive index of water um and the students guy student calculated it uh, let's say 1.29 and 1.33 1.34 1.35 1.32 1.36 and 1.30 1.33 okay and then in question we have said that the question asks calculate the mean value absolute error relative error percentage error everything you have to calculate now okay in terms of percentage okay i have calculated it in terms of percentage okay all thing you have to calculate fine let's start let's do it okay uh can we form a table of it yes we can for a better understanding okay uh refractive index uh, what students have calculated this this is the measured value measured value okay students measured value they have given 1.29 fine and then 1.33 1.34 Uh, 1.35, okay. 1.32, 1.36, 1.33, 1.33. Sorry. How much? How many observations the students have taken? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight observations. Okay. Ah, uh, let's now calculate the mean of it. Mean. How will you calculate the mean? You remember in my part one I already discussed. Okay. In first part I told you A M. What is mean? Mean is A one plus A two plus A three and up to A N. Since A is any quantity, so here we have what uh, what we are doing. Uh, we have calculate refractive index. So these are the measured value of refractive index. So refractive index is represented by mu, correct? Refractive index. We want mean of refractive index. Fine. Mean of refractive index will be one point two nine plus one point three three. Remember, remember, remember. A one plus A two plus A three up to A n. Okay. So one point three three plus one point three four plus One point three five plus one point three two plus one point three six plus one point three plus one point three three. Okay, 
8 values fine divided by 8 I'm using my calculator for all this and your answer would be for mu for refractive mean in refract mu mean is equals to would be 1.3275 okay fine and if you round it off it would give you 1.33 okay up to two decimals we are rounding off 1.33 so your actual value is your true value not actual value your true value is uh, true value is 1.33 fine so mean is mean is 1.33 mu mean okay this is your mu1 this is your mu2 this is your mu3 mu4 mu5 mu6 mu7 and mu8 and this is your mu mean mu mean okay fine so next step is what is my next step remember first we have to calculate a mean a mean we have calculated a m or true value so this is my mu mean or my true value true value now i have to calculate students how what is my absolute value that is how much my each measured values deviated from my actual value from my true value that is i have to now calculate absolute error absolute error how will i calculate absolute error that is absolute error is represented by delta of this is a1 so delta a1 a2 this is delta a2 this is a3 delta a3 so delta u1 delta u1 would be remember am minus a1 so u1 minus what u m minus mu sorry mu m minus mu 1 would give me delta u 1 correct so what is my mu m mu m is this 1.33 and what is my mu 1 mu 1 is 1.29 minus 1.29 fine again mu m minus mu 2 which is equals to delta u 2 uh, mu m is my 1.33 minus 1.33 ok fine then then mu m minus mu 3 that is delta of u 3 which is 1.33 minus 1.34 1.33 minus 1.34 fine 1.34 and then mu m minus mu 4 which will give me delta u 4 which is equals to 1.33 1.33 minus mu 4 is 1.35 1.35 then mu m minus mu 5 which is equals to delta mu 5 it is absolute we are, you are getting we are we are just subtracting uh, this is my true value and how much is the deviation from my true value to this that is 1.33 minus 1.32 fine and then mu m minus mu 6 will give me delta u 6 mu 6 uh, can I write it here is equals to 1.33 minus 1.36 1.36 fine and uh, mu m minus mu 7 is equals to delta mu 7 which is 1.33 minus 1.30 and uh, delta mu m minus mu 8 is equals to oh uh, sorry not delta I have right delta oh, sorry 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 mu and minus mu 7 delta mu and this is delta 
mu8 which is equals to 1.33 minus minus uh, my last number is again 1.33 fine two places I have I'm getting 1.33 no issues this is equals to 0 0.04 this is equals to 0 this is equals to my uh, 1.33 minus uh, 1.34 minus 0 0.01 1.33 minus uh, 1.35 0.02 1.33 minus 1.32 is equal to uh, 0.01 here it would be plus uh, then uh, here is 1.33 minus 1.36 is equal to minus 0 0.03 0.03 .03 minus 0 0.03 and uh, 1.33 minus uh, 1.33 minus uh, 1.2 1.30 is equal to 0 0.03 1.33 is equal to 0 1.33 minus 1.30 is equal to 0 0.03 is equals to zero. Okay, fine. Now we have to take its. Uh, this is the error or uh, absolute error, that is deviation from a man value to each value. How much it is deviated? Okay. Now we will. We would like to take the mean of it. So how will you take the mean? Mean is equals to delta u of mean. This is our delta u. This is all our delta u's. So just take the mean of it. That is equals to delta u1 plus mu1. Sorry, not u1. It is mu1, mu2, mu3, mu4, mu5 plus mu delta mu6 plus delta mu7 uh, plus delta mu7 plus delta mu 8 divided by 8 okay that is equals to 0 0.04 plus 0 minus 0 0.01 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 minus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 here minus 0 0.03 and here is plus 0. 0, 0.03 and then plus 0 divided by 8 okay if you just add it up and divide it by 8 you will get 0 0.14 divided by 8 which is equals to 0 0.0175 since our value in our main question all digits are after decimal it's two digit value so we round it round it up to 2 that is 0 0.02 okay what is relative error relative error relative error means actual value is mu and the deviation the mean value delta u mean is equals to how much that is 0 0.02 plus minus 1.33 uh, u value is 1.33 that is u mean okay u mean 1.33 which will give you plus minus 0 0.015 which is equals to plus minus 0 0.02 okay so this is our relative error uh, how would you like it to uh, you want to if you want to write it in a proper way so remember I showed you the formula if you know I told you a is equals to a mean plus delta of a mean remember delta of a mean so our delta of a mean is this is our delta of a mean relative error means from your uh, uh, this is your actual value true value and this is your absolute error so how much is the deviation so it will be plus minus means either plus or either minus I will show you here that is u is equals to 
u of me plus minus delta of u mean mu mean sorry and this is not a we have taken it mu okay fine now what is mu mu is equals to 1.33 and plus minus 0.02 it means it means either you have a value of mu is equals to 0.02 which is equals to uh, 0 0.02 that is 1.35 or mu is equals to 1.33 minus 0 0.02 that is equals to 1.31 so 1.35 1.31 uh, 1.33 is your true value if you if uh, you get this value it means your uh, percentage error will be zero but your uh, value will be somewhere lies between 1.31 to 1.35 your experiment will give you result of mu anywhere in between or uh, uh, if it is exactly this is your true value true value so maybe you will get uh, in answer in between in between and that will if you are more towards 1.31 exactly then it means more percentage error you will encounter or if it is and more percentage error and if it exactly 1.33 then there is no percentage error okay so let's take a percentage error I already told you what is percentage error that is percentage error we in part 1 we discuss how to calculate it delta uh, sorry in part 2 the, before starting the video of this I told you it is this much so it's just delta of u mean mu mean I mean and then mu mean into 100 so remember we calculate delta mu mean is equals to is equals to plus minus 0. Point uh, 0. 0.0 0. Point, it is 0. 0.05 0. 0.015 into 100 or uh, 0. 0.015 okay uh, plus minus 1.5 percent so your error is 1.5 percent thank you students for watching the video uh, I will continue this part uh, in part third also I will give you more numerical practice so please stay with me for next until next part thank you Khuda Hafiz